G'day, I'm Clive and welcome to part 6 of my storage build for my hiking and camping gear. I've done a bit since uh, the last video and what I'm going to do in a moment is grab the camera and have a walk around and show you. But the other day I decided to add on to my storage area. I attempted to make a video over here, even though there's plenty of room, it wasn't the best position so I decided to do this which is just out of shot so like I said I'll grab the camera and I'll show you what I've got done and what I'm in the process of building now as you can see in the background we've got the back panel on there now all the lighting's working all the back here has been soundproof behind and I put it up first without the soundproofing and immediately you notice the sound level drop and then taking it off, trimming the edges a bit that end panel there I had to cut and rejoin because it was just a bit warped and went down and there's a large gap at the top but putting the soundproofing on the back you notice the noise actually drop even further and we've actually got the granddaughter here at the moment all the lights are working like I said I'm still waiting for some extension to connect these lights up on a separate uh, remote control so I can add turn these on and off when I need to. We've still got the light in here. What I want to get done today is this back panel here. So it's the same as that with the wood and there's a plank of wood sitting here waiting with the soundproofing because that is where the television is and that will reduce the noise even more and then let me show you this is what I started on today 2.4 meters in length the actual frame is 600 wide that's millimeters and I'm in the process of putting the top on which is just making it a lot more stable and rigid I've got trimmer piece here to fit it in because I wanted to overhang this side so when the actual uh, doors and everything fit on here that will still be just past by about what's that about five or ten mil when I panel the front they will sit flush with here and when I panel down here sorry when I panel the front it will fit flush with this one when I panel the side it will sit just slightly back from here giving me the option to sand it back to make it a lot smoother what I've used is instead of doing all the joints and everything else I had some of these brackets so I'm just using the brackets to connect and they're going to take a heap of weight and it's one on there one on the bottom one and that's on all the joints apart from these ones I've actually been able to screw straight through into them same here straight through <coughs> excuse me at the back here just to enable me to have somewhere to screw into and give it a little bit more stability I'm going to put a couple of noggins in here and, and the same two over there one and two excuse the camera frame yeah and the panel is going to go all across so it matches the back over there so now or when I finish this I'll be able to stand on that side put the equipment and gear I'm doing a review of on the here and have the camera where I'm standing now and be able to video it all and not get in the way and just so you get a better shot of everything I've added a couple of doors on this one needs a slight adjustment, it's just catching, I might just leave it, let it wear, but got a couple of latches, one there, and on the back of that I've just put some plyboard just to hold these two pieces together. And there's another latch on the inside here, which holds it shut. Let's make sure I've got it all the way now. That's it. I've done the same on this one and I'm going to do the same on all the rest 
of these doors. Before, before should I say, I'll get back onto them, I want to get this done. Because this top panel here, or top shelf, I've decided to bring my uh, sleep mats all down, excuse the mess in the background, bring my sleep mats and have them in here, move the sewing machine from there to there, and I'll be able to slide the sleep mats up there, so I'm going to be utilising all the space, and my, uh, that's all the self-inflating ones that you leave up. My other sleep mats, my air mats, I'm going to be putting along here, and pillows, and I'm just going to have a drop down door here. So I'll just drop it all the way down, get what I want, and up, and use the same latches as I have on the doors to just bolt up and hold it all in place. The bottom, what I was going to do is put my main tent up at the top. Not my hiking tent, my main base uh, camp tent, drawing tent, I think it's actually known as, at the bottom with all of its add-ons, tag-alons, a whole lot, and I think it should fit in there with room to spare and that means the camp bed up there and that camp, I can't remember if that's the camp kitchen or the cupboard but that can go down in there also so got a fair bit to get done and that means getting is finished my wife asked me, says, Where does, where's this going today? I said here where it is <laughs> There's no way I'm going to carry that out of this room now and put, move it anywhere else. So that's going to make room in the other room where I've got some of my gear stored. It's going to be bought into here. At the top, I want to clear that all the way around and keep it clear, just have the odd little bits on. Because like I said, I'm going to panel it the same as this here. Have some LED lighting running across the top of it, which will be up there. So it will light up the ceiling where I can adjust the colours, the how bright it is and everything else just to give that mood feeling that nice feeling especially now another thing I've done is this here my pack holder and it's big enough to hold three full size packs and what I've got in the background here or in the back of this is structural 70 mil by 35 mil pine I've got three points where it's anchored to the wall and I've got four, one, five actually with one at the point top there with where the uh, hook is and then I've got another support in here another one where the hook is, another support and another one where the hook is just to make it all sturdy, secure and that means I can actually hold all three packs on there loaded and ready to go if need be so at the moment I'm in two minds to do my next hike which is going to be uh, a three section between this one here which I love the Savata or this uh, <coughs> excuse me 3 if you will um, oh, I can't remember what that's called I'll put it on the screen just to give it a proper test out and I've got just a normal fold out sleeping mat to try out now that thing I've had it on the floor in the office here just testing it and and each time I've got it out I think it's each three times I've got it and put it down and led back I've fallen asleep on it so great to fall asleep on I felt, felt comfortable then but we'll find out doing like the multi-day and actually using it overnight how good that's really going to be and I think that's the Nemo switchback that's called Okay, I suppose I better get back on doing some work, getting these shelves put in place, which I'm going to be using the, <coughs> excuse me, the plywood, and get the panelling on the back, panelling on one side, and make a start on making the drop down doors to go on the frontier, and I'm hoping to get most of that done today, fingers crossed, fingers crossed. The wife's off work, so she's coming and going. So if the wife turns up before I've got all of it done, that's when the video finishes. So, and I'll put it all in the next video. Okay, let's get on.
made a bit of a, a boo boo there. Uh, all in all, once the side panel on, you're not going to see the mistakes or the uh, I can say not mistakes, authenticity. How's that? Okay, I'm going to start on the second shelf now, and there's the foreman inspecting Mr. Puss Puss. There we go, second shelf done. A lot tidier and easier than the first shelf once I knew what I was doing and how to measure it. Having these brackets and the screws sticking out just meant I had to cut back a bit more. But all in all, I'm happy with that. As you can probably see there where the sewing machine is, it carries on fairly level with that. The sewing machine is actually going to be moved from there so I can push the mats in a bit further out of the way to give me more space down this end to use. Yep, all I need to start doing now is putting like them panels on all the way this side and down that side today. And then I'll take a look at putting some nice same stuff but finishing it down here across there so when it comes to putting the doors on it's all going to look pretty damn good I hope well I'm happy with it that's all that really matters okay. I think if I'd taken my time more I could have got it a lot better but when I started and I saw this fence paling the look of it, I was a little bit twisted in places and a little bit bowed. And because it had them in sanded and uh, planed and everything, it just needs a nice light sanding and it looks really nice. It reminds me a lot of a uh, the cabin feel. It gives me the cabin feel. So I want to get this side done. And then get all, I still haven't finished the soundproofing and the backs underneath there yet. I haven't finished the shoe bit yet, which I have to do because I need to put this shelf on here. And then I can put some doors on and close this all off. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that.
Well, that's it for me today. Let's show you what I've got done. Yeah, we've got all the lower shelf done. We've got the middle shelf complete. The countertop, I've just got a trimmer piece to go in here, which is different widths going down there. So I'll be making a little template just so that fits. Well, not perfect, but it's going to fit where it actually looks all the same as these, where they're all misshapen with the gaps. So that's most of that countertop done. Still got to do the side here, but I have got all the front done. Just needs a bit of a sun down here for when I do the next part, but looks good. I like it. Now that was fun getting between the cupboard and there. Show you what I used. Now I can't remember what it's called, but I think I remember ordering it off uh, eBay or somewhere. So basically a uh, screw bit goes in here. This end goes in your drill, so now you've got a 90 degree angle and that you can turn any direction to drill in the awkward spots or screw. It's warm in here now, the wife's turned up, uh, got home, the door's closed and the sun's coming through the window even though we've got the shades out there, I can only imagine what it'd be like if it didn't. So I hope you enjoyed this video and if you're not a subscriber and you have enjoyed it please go down below and click on the subscribe button click on the notification bell next to it and select all hit the thumbs up button and if you are already a subscriber again I thank you very much